Now, we, we were hearing rumors about you in a possible Hector Garcia fight. Um, we know Hector got Lamont Roach. Uh, I just did a podcast last week with Lamont Roach. I told him, hey, if you get the title, I think for, for Maryland, for D.C., um, we got to do Gary Russell Jr. versus Lamont Roach. He, he talked about how much he respected you, but he said that's a big fight for the city. How do you feel about that? I wouldn't want to fight Roach. To be honest with you, I like, I like Roach, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't gonna call him a youngie, you know what I'm saying? But he came up up under me, you know, um, I knew him for a while, I knew his family, I knew his dad, I knew his mom, you know, um, if he want, if he's trying to make some money, then I guess we can make some shit shake if we got the title, you know what I'm saying? You know what you're asking for, you know what I'm saying? But me personally, I wouldn't want to fight Roach, you know what I'm saying? Um, but shit, we in the, we we in the hurt business. We in the sport to try to generate revenue. But me personally, you know, I will, I wouldn't want to. In your comeback fight, are you looking to to knock the rust off? Are you looking for the biggest best fight possible? Nah, I've been we ain't, we ain't doing no tune ups. We ain't doing none of that. I've been in the kitchen cooking. I've been in the kitchen cooking. We been grinding. I'm in shape. I'm in blast right now. My little brother in shape. I've been working like I say side by side with him. Preparing him for his fight as well as me rehabbing my shoulder, doing certain work, doing exercise, and pushing this shit to the limit. So, mm -hmm. if we do come back, I ain't no, we ain't, we ain't looking for no higher down. Now, respectfully, champ, I think um, out of all of the fighters that we got today, I think um, as far as your activity level, um, with it being, you know, kind of off and on, you have probably the most hardcore fan base. What do you think the people mm. connect with you about? What, what is what is that connection with you and your fan base? Even though we don't get to see you as much as we want. Cause I'm, I'm real. You know, a lot of people tend to live behind the smokes and the mirrors. You know what I'm saying? They get caught up with the smokes and the mirrors. They get caught up with the lights and the cameras and shit like that. And when it's all said and done, you still gotta go back to being a real person at the end of the day. I never miss the school too. You know what I'm saying? I stay true to myself. You know what I'm saying? People like that, they, you know, they kind of get caught up in the smoke. I only put up in the smoke. My yes me, yes. My no me, no. You know what I'm saying? If I'm cool with you, you know I'm cool with you. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. It's, that's just what it is. You know, um, and I'm a man at the end of the day. I'm going to stand on law. I'm going to stand on what I believe in, no matter what somebody says or how they feel about it. Um, I feel that every man should be that one. Every man is it. Know, but it is what it is. I think that's where a lot of my fan base might come from. You know, um, I try my best to be third. I try my best to be complete in every way. Um, I get credit when credit is due. But I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't going to hold my tongue for nobody.